Hey everyone, real quick before the video starts, I just want to remind you all that I'm making a game. If you check the link in the description, you can play the free demo for Soul Star. It's an action RPG similar to Kingdom Hearts, but borrows from a lot of different games you've probably played before. If you like Undertale and Deltarune, which I assume you do since you're watching this video, you probably like things with hidden lore, so I think you'd also like my game. We've got a Kickstarter going on right now, so I'd really appreciate your help in either contributing to make it a reality or just spread the word about it. Thanks for watching and Chari. Excellent. Truly excellent. Chari. Thank you for your time. Your answers. Your wonderful creation. Will now be discarded. Cool, thanks, game. Really glad I spent time coming up with a design and a name for that gotcha moment. Big preach. You looked inside the sink cupboard. There's a can of Icy's Cool Boys body spray, spray for the boys, flaming hot pizza flavor. Oh, that's what I keep smelling at every gaming convention. Partner, I hardly know her. <laughs> what do you think of that one? Funny, right? Hilarious. All right, let's get this over with. We'll get more chalk. Mosey back to class, and then Chris, you'll do our project. How's that sound? Don't bother answering. If you haven't gotten it by now, your choices don't matter. Well, see, so you say that, but fighting Jevalon later in the game gets me an item, and which item I get depends on how I choose to fight him, along with a shadow crystal, and that's an optional fight, so even if it isn't story-wise, my choices matter a little bit. The floor. It's... And that was Deltarune. I don't know why they call it chapter one when there's only one chapter. Anyway, can I go now? Oh, the heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the mind. Who the hell are you? I'm... The bad guy. Duh. <laughs> So you wrote a sign, leaving it out in the open, and the only thing you wrote on it is that we're not supposed to read it? Oh, it's just this way. Sign, Lancer. You needed to put down a sign for that? Like, I get it, that's the joke and the signs are everywhere, but if the point is to find your way out of the field of hopes and dreams, why put down signs in places you didn't need them? Donation hole. If you like our tutorials, please throw your money into a hole. You decided to save the dollar for a different hole. Oh my. Rance loves when you give us money. He will hug you and call you honey. Hey, that's not true. You don't need money to get me to do that. Rance, you whore. You get TP when you defend. Protect yourself and cast spells, friend. You also get TP by getting close to bullets. Look for the heart outline when you get close to bullets. You rhymed bullets with bullets. But because it's important! And acknowledging that doesn't mean you didn't rhyme bullets with bullets. When you step into the light, you'll return to where you were before. I'm guessing that rule only applies to Chris, because if Susie and Ralsei step into the light, we're perfectly fine. <laughs> Suddenly Super Mario! You didn't actually help at all. You only made everything worse by attacking it. If you had just acted nice to it in the first place, we could have avoided that entire battle. Huh? Are you for real? That thing was bloodthirsty. The only thing keeping it at bay was my axe. And earlier, you terrorized those troops. Those guys were enemies. They're for terrorizing. Yeah, she's right. And before that, you ate an innocent person's cake. Cakes are also my enemy. Or you could have just said that cakes are for eating. I feel like you would have had a much stronger argument there. 
You know, I hadn't realized it until now, but Field of Hopes and Dreams is the only song so far that gets a slider for its name. Also, am I crazy or does the intro to Scarlet Forest sound like the music from the Shrek 2 DVD menu? I'm serious, look it up! Greetings, gentle clowns! May we interest you in a Lancer cookie? All proceeds go to kicking your ass. It's a mere 40 dark dollars! <laughs> Thanks. For getting cheated by us! Now we may fund our illicit plans! Huh? What? Where did you- How did you do that? You left on one side, then showed up on the other side. Are you Pac-Man? Is this Pac-Man? Oh, whoa! Woe is me! Rose and rows and woes of woes! If only a hero would help! Lancer? Is everything alright? Oh, I'm not Lancer. I'm just a sweet little boy! Why does a sweet little boy have a mustache? As a disguise! So what kind of help do you need? See, I have this evil plan that I need to make! And why does a sweet boy need an evil plan? To impress his cool friend, Susie! See, at first I figured you were poorly trying to mislead us, but you're kind of just being honest about your intentions, so I really don't see what the point of the disguise is. Okay, unless you data mine, read a walkthrough from people who data mine, or somehow get it on your first try, how the hell are you supposed to find this place? And then when you leave, it puts you all the way back at the bake sale, what? C Chris, isn't that the machine we designed? Alright, this will be tough, but let's try our best! Oh, that's not good, actually. Ho ho ho! You think that's bad? Just wait and see what happens when it starts! Your design sucked, so we blew it up. But you built it anyway. Wouldn't the time you spent building the thing have been better spent on actually designing something you were going to use instead of something you built only to destroy? Um, Susie? Does this mean we aren't a team anymore? Uh, huh? Um, I mean, um, of course we're still a team. You can, um, be part of the fun gang. Wow! Me? In the fun gang? Wait. If I hang out with the good guys, then... Can we still have monogram track jackets? Yeah, Ralsei will make them. Uh, uh, what? Uh, okay, sure. <laughs> okay, I have several questions about how Lancer's face works. You can follow behind us, you know? Oh, okay! I noticed you aren't doing that! Yeah! Cool, good talk, Lancer. Lancer, Chris and Ralsei are still locked up. I... I know! I... I was the one who told my troops to put you down here. To... To keep you down here. Forever. L Lancer, you... You... You wanted to get rid of us? I thought we were a team. I... I can explain, Susie! You really can, and I don't get why you're choosing not to. Just say that you're afraid they might hurt your dad or that your dad might hurt them. Yeah, even I got arrested. And I'm just a pair of eyes. What's the world coming to? I know this is a world where you have monsters and dark worlds, a world ending prophecy and all that, but how does a pair of eyes speak? Oh, let us take your coat and put it in the toilet. Ha! Which we don't even have. Please try the baseballs. Yeah, eat so many you choke. Do they eat sports? Then we can all play Twister. Can you just name drop Twister like that? Don't you have to pay royalties to Hasbro or whatever? Does Hasbro exist in this world? Like not even the world of Deltarune, but the dark world specifically. Eh? What are you talking about? A prisoner with an odd manner? No, you couldn't possibly be talking about him. Why, as a matter of fact, I am talking about him, Mr. Pronoun Game. Okay, it's no secret that the Jevil fight is super tough, but man, this carousel attack in particular can fuck right off. Who the hell do you think you are? <laughs> 
<laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you? I'm the bad guy! Duh. <laughs>is enough. Uh, I didn't do anything but defend that whole time. Why do you look like you have a cut on your face? <coughs> My apologies. I'm not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. From all that nothing we did to you? Like, yeah, I get that you were exerting yourself during that fight, but you're behaving like we just beat the hell out of you. Ralsei's even healing you when we didn't even touch you. I'm far from the only person who's pointed this out, but that single pixel on the left of the arena awakens a primal, irrational anger in me. At first I thought there was some significance to it, but nope, it's just a miscolored dot. You're not slick, Toby Fox. I know these blue blocks spell out boob, thinking you're so smart. Is that bold and brash from Spongebob? Why do the letters at the top of the classroom loop? Look, I get it, you ran out of room, but you could have just stopped at Z. Now you have an entire generation of children that think that the alphabet has 35 letters and ends in I. Teens Corner, Monthly Tune Review, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2. This reviewer had Mew Mew 2 as her first exposure to the series. And let her tell you, it makes Mew Mew 1 look like a dumpster with sparkly cat ears. How would you know that? You just said Mew Mew 2 was your first exposure to the series. You probably watched the rest of the series before writing this review, but your wording makes it seem like this is the only thing in the Mew Mew series you've ever watched. With a darker storyline and more mature themes, the second one treats the viewer like a real adult, instead of like an animal that will die if it goes 10 seconds without seeing a beach ball. Not to mention, Mew Mew's character in the first one is more stale than the ramen I ate at home by myself with the lights off. Teens and older should check out this dark masterpiece. Signed, The Anonymous Yellow Lizard. Man, I wonder who that could be. The Teen Zone, where teens can be kids. Not to be that guy, but teens and kids in that sentence are plural, not possessive, so they shouldn't have an apostrophe. It's an unlabeled book. You look inside. I accidentally returned my personal journal instead of my book. Oh no, they're putting it into their catalog. Oh no, I have to take it out every time I want to write a new entry. Or, you know, you could just swap books. They still have it under record that you have to return the other book you checked out anyway. Plus, how are you writing in your journal as they were putting it in their catalog? There's a book here. You lick the page. It's delicious. This must be what they meant by flavor text. Good pun, but like, why would I lick the page in the first place? <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my God, I'd die. I'd literally die. You would not literally die. Unless Susie killed you for speaking to her, in which case, yeah, you might die. She's a sweetheart, isn't she? Ladies? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so... Defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus. Everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Get it? A deer in headlights? Alright, does that analogy even make sense in this world considering deer can drive cars themselves? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. I can't remember if I asked this in Undertale, but how does a hand speak? Like, sign language, I guess, but do we all understand sign language in this world? Is it a telepathic thing like the eyes in the dark world? What beeth the rules, damn it? Mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. Oh, Sans totally f***ed our mom. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie? <laughs> I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but uh, I'd be careful. Like one time, me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball. You, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball? The three characters in this game that, uh, you know, don't have hands? Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow, um, my, my homemade DVD collection of The Simpsons. Y you know, the sitcom about the middle class monster family. It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. Ha! <laughs> 28 seasons. Look, eating cold pizza is fine. I indulge in it from time to time. But who thought that having an ice cube as a mascot for a pizza place advertising hot pizza was a good idea? Ah, yes, little body. Good idea. Meet the Rogues Gallery. 
blue ears, soft serve obsessed, no concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushes on me and giggling. The warrior thankfully absent with the pizza related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy, you gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Suddenly, Five Nights at Freddy's. Also, you should really know who works with you before they go about... You know, killing children. Like, that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy, she's like, my life villain. Like, the other day, I went to see Cat Patters 2, and the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a cappuccino, and she, like, was already drinking one. She's such a copycat. Uh, copygator? How is she a copygator when she's already doing all the things you're about to do? Hmm, it's perfect to hear. I don't know what it means, but it's perfect. Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Uh, um, you? Yeah, it's perfect. Um, you? that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? Christmas? That's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Yeah, that's not terrifying at all. Why the hell would I ever want to come back after something like this? everyone, Char i5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSense pastiche of everything wrong with Deltarune Chapter 1. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head on over to CinemaSense, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with Undertale? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I-5, signing off.